Okay, this probably looks like normal Windows 7 to you. But if you take a look over here, you can see it's Windows 8 Consumer Preview, build 8250. Okay, so this part all looks the same. Very similar to the normal Windows 7 version, but there are a lot of differences. And that's what I'm gonna be trying to show you now. I don't know everything yet, but as I go through it, I will be showing you as well. So first of all, one thing that you'll notice if you go into here, there's nothing different really. So right away you can see one difference or two differences and one is library tools and the other is picture tools. Slideshow here. Another new feature is if we double left click on the picture we get different options here. We can open it with paint, photos, window media center or windows photo viewer or we can say seal and there's a couple of other options. This section is about the same. Nothing has really changed in the gadgets. There are, might be new gadgets, but everything else basically stays the same. Now, the first new thing we're going to be showing is if you put your mouse to the top of the screen, you can actually drag the picture. You can move it around. Look at that. You can drop it there. You can drag the picture. We can drop it over there on the side, and we can extend it again. If we go to the top corner of the screen, we'll get a few options over here. So we can go to search, and there's whoa, a lot to search from. Go back to the corner, we have share. So, so this is quite nice. What happens is if you have something open like a game or so on, you can quickly go to the share button and you can share your score, whatever you're doing. That's pretty nice, especially for this day and age where we all like to share everything with everybody. Also, it's quite nice as you can see the clock down on the left corner, which is quite nice to have. Uh, this is the main feature of the program. I'll be showing you this a little bit later. Let's go to devices. Okay, this shows you second screen. And then what's quite nice is you can duplicate or extend your screen or second screen only and so on. So quick options over there. Go to the corner of the screen again and settings. These are the settings, control panel, personalization, PC info and help. Very quick access to all information you need. Let's go to control panel and go to system and security and system. Over here, this is something that's neat. So here's all my information about my computer, but this is not what I wanted to show you. What I do want to show you is Windows Experience Index. Let's click on this. As you can see, the score now can be increased all the way to 9.9. .9. In the previous Windows, it was 7.9, and now it's all the way until 9.9. .9. That thing on my computer got 9.9. .9. My processor got 8.1, my memory got 9.1, my graphics got 7.8. So now there's room for improvement on the scores. Let's close this. So one of the new features on Windows 8, if you go to the corner, you can click over here and it'll go to the, some of your recent activities. Here's Solitaire. If we go to the top left, you can see I've got Solitaire open there. We go down a little bit and it'll open some other things. For example, this is for viewing pictures and some other things that I've been trying to do. But let's go to the real bot and take a look at the main start menu. When you open up Windows, this is what will load up first. Now, there's a lot of options over here. If we go to here, we can change our settings. So you can see there's quite a few different options. Changing my picture, use information, notifications, search, sharing, general, privacy, devices, ease of access, sync your settings, home group, and Windows update press the Windows button, we'll go back, and we can see there's many, many different options over here. SkyDrive, Remote Desktop, Mail, Pictures. Let's go to Pictures and take a look. So if we go to Pictures Library, we can take a look at the different pictures that we have. So click on this one, and we can glide through the pictures, which I don't have too much because this is my new PC. Okay, right, so that's that. You can go through this very quickly on this side. We've got sample pictures, there's nothing there. Oh yeah, we've got the store. Let's go to the store and see what loads up. So as you can see, the store is using the new style. It's not going to Internet Explorer to search for this. And you can go through, looking through everything. So yeah, it looks very nice. It's very colorful, very bright. So let's take a look. We've got a couple of different things. Navi time, we've got some free stuff. Yeah, it looks like what this is free. I don't know what that is, a rough good 10. Um, yeah, look at this one, it's also free. So let's click on this and see what happens. There we go, there's a free application we can install. We click on it and you have to be signed in with a Microsoft account. So you do need a Microsoft account if you want to get all this free stuff. So I might end up making a Microsoft account later on. I do not have one right now. I've always been really a PlayStation 3 user and not an Xbox user. So I've never really seen the need 
before a Microsoft account, but now Windows 8 really does make a person want to buy Xbox. Windows 8 is really trying to focus on the entire network, so it's going to make people want to buy the Xbox. This is maybe a good idea for Microsoft because they'll want all the special things that Windows 8 has to offer and because probably the Xbox and your computer can be synced together quite nicely, Xbox might be an, a good idea. However, I still am a PlayStation 3 user. I'm not saying which one is better than the other. They are both awesome machines. So let's take a look at what else we have. We've got your X uh, pinball. Sorcerer's Lair. To the Sorcerer's Lair. Go to maps. Oh yeah, so that's pretty nice. Do you want to turn on location service and allow maps to use your location? Allow. And there we go, it, it found me. So that's pretty awesome. Live, I don't have an Xbox, so I'm gonna skip that. We've got Internet Explorer. Trophies in Unit 13, like. Calendar. Let's take a look at the calendar. Okay, you do need a Microsoft account for the calendar. So, wait, let me try one more time. Yeah, you need a Microsoft account. Okay, then we've got Reader, which you probably need a Microsoft account as well. I've got no books, so it doesn't really help. But it does have the weather over here in Seattle, but not in Japan. So that's something, unfortunately. Finance. So this is pretty cool. It shows the stock and everything. Yeah, pretty awesome. All the information is here. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. Let's go back out. We have video player to watch videos. Let's see if there's anything special about this one. Yes, agree. Uh, okay, and wow, look here. Yeah, there's actually some stuff that looks like that a person can watch straight away. Your Highness. Let's click on this and it goes straight to this part. Thanks for watching this episode of Windows 8. I will be showing you more about the software in the future as I learn more about it and find out new things.